Hey, what is up? My name is Catherine, and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. I just kind of felt like doing one. I built this house and thought it was cute, so I wanted to share it. So today we're building a California-style ranch home. I think California-style is the right word for it. And this is a house built using all items from the base game, so there's no expansion packs or stuff packs in this build, because I know there was a sale recently where you could get the Sims for for free and I believe it is also currently still on sale for five dollars so a lot of people have been getting the base game lately and if you did take advantage of that sale and you don't have any other expansion packs you can still play this house without any modifications so this is a family home it is fit for one couple and right now I have it set up for two toddlers so you could adjust the toddler bedroom to sleep two children or two teens with those beds but it is best for two toddler beds. This comes in at about 43,000 simoleons so it's not super expensive but it's not super cheap either. I kind of figured that it would be a good home for maybe you just married your sim and they have some money saved up and they want to start a family but they don't have money for a crazy mansion or anything like that. It is a pretty cozy little home. It's pretty modest. There's no like flashy giant tv or crazy workout room or anything like that it's just the basic necessities that you need for a little house but it is super super cute in my opinion i really love how the exterior turned out with the dark wood accents and the white wood siding i just something about the dark wood and the white wood together it looks so cute and i love the little brick porch area that i do so i'm realizing that this is where i messed up i couldn't figure out what fence i wanted and the filter for base game accidentally turned off so as you're watching this i did use a fence for the little outside porches that's from the city living expansion pack but when I upload this to the gallery, I have it fixed, so it is a base game fence in the gallery upload. Sorry about that, I literally only have like one fully functioning brain cell, and I sometimes don't realize when the filter gets turned off. I don't know why it does that, it's really frustrating, um, but yeah. It took me like 80 years to figure out the floor plan, so I skipped over most of it. Um, I keep adjusting and like pulling the rooms and everything. But it ends up being a two bedroom, two full bathroom house, and there's a cute little entryway, and then a small kitchen and small living area. So this is sort of the floor plan, but I do make some changes later. So now I'm just going to do some landscaping. Landscaping is like one of my favorite parts of this game. I think it's because I literally can't keep plants alive in real life. Like I have killed three cactuses in the past year and a half. Like cactus, like little succulent things. Like those plants are literally like not supposed to be able to die. They're basically like a step up from having a rock on your windowsill. Like you shouldn't be able to kill those. And I managed to kill three. I don't know what the deal is. I like overwatered one and then I underwatered the next one which I'm like okay you're a desert plant how do I even underwater you like take the water from the air I don't even know I'm really bad at keeping plants alive and it makes no sense because I'm like a really like nurturing person I baby my cat I have no problem taking care of my cat like I'm such a like I'm such a mom but then like when it comes to plants it's like don't even let me buy a plant I can't keep a plant alive but I love how plants look obviously because they're so pretty so um here are some nice plants that I can't kill and I can still enjoy how they look if I tried to have a garden like this in real life, I mean, first of all, I couldn't because I live in an apartment and I literally don't have a yard, but I also just couldn't because I would kill it and it would be gross and sad and no one would want to look at that. Um, oh, but I would so love to have a lavender plant. I tried to grow a lavender plant in my little mason jar garden and I like set it up right. Like I had like little drainage holes and everything and it still died. I don't know what happened. It never got past the like little like green grass thingies poking out of the soil. I really wanted like a pretty good smelling purple lavender plant and that didn't happen because I can't take care of plants and it's really sad. Is anyone else like that? Like you just can't keep plants alive? Like I think I might be cursed or something. I don't know what the deal is but um yeah. So this is sort of the final exterior of the house. I do go back after I furnish the house and I add some furniture to those little outside porches and it turns out really cute. And now I'm just going in and fiddling around with the kitchen. I wanted a door that goes out to the backyard. And I think I realized that I needed to extend the kitchen by like one tile because it just wasn't going to work to have a kitchen and a little 
I'm not really gonna call it a living room, it's more just a seating area. I didn't put like a TV because for the family that I moved in here, I kind of thought it would be like on brand for them to like not want their little toddlers to watch TV. They want like all holistic entertainment for the kids and it kind of like wasn't gonna fit too well with the floor plan anyways. So there's no TV, it's just a little seating area, but I love the kitchen. So the family that I moved in here, it's a husband and wife. The wife's name is Haley and she's an aspiring chef. So I know the kitchen to be nice. It's not like huge, but the finishes are nice. And I love these countertops. The little like dark wood countertops are so pretty. I'd love to have counters like this in real life, but it's just not gonna happen anytime soon, I don't think. But I really love how the kitchen turned out. And then I make this like little entryway area, which I add some coats to later. And it's also really cute. I just think like everything in this house is so like cozy. It's like updated and nice, but it's like, it's cute. So this is a little seating area. It kind of took me a while to mess around with it because it's like, do I or don't I want a TV? Like, the thing that's weird about the game is that it's like, the like, TVs that go on stands are always like kind of weird. And it's like, then if you have a flat screen, it's taking up a window spot. So I, I just kind of really decide like what TV I want. And so I ended up going with no TV. And I felt like it just fit the space so well to just have a bookshelf in this cute little seating area. I love the brick flooring. It feels so California. Like, ah, I would love, I know like hardwood is all the rage, but I feel like an all brick flooring would be so cute. Plus it would be so cool in the summer, like cooling. Uh, I hate when it's all hot and gross in the summer and having like a floor that just keeps the house cool. Oof, that would be amazing. So this is the seating area that turned out cute and I'm just putting some wall coverings on the wall with a dark wood accent and just like a cream colored wall. I'm really bad at using colorful walls. It's just like not my thing. I had like a neon pink and green bedroom growing up and I'm like traumatized by my choice to do that and I'm all like about the neutral walls for the rest of my life now. So now I'm doing the master bedroom which it's like barely master bedroom it's very very small I'm really bad at like making my bedrooms big in this game I don't know what it is whenever I do a floor plan I always like end up with these super tiny bedrooms and it makes like no sense like I really should try to do a giant bedroom but I think it's just like I lived in the same house my whole life and my room there was like not super huge like it had like a closet and a desk and a dresser and I did manage to squeeze a queen bed in there growing up but I didn't have like a giant bedroom and then obviously like now I live in in New York so my bedroom is literally the size of a closet you have room for like a bed and another piece of furniture and that's it so like I don't really know what to do with big bedrooms like sometimes I go over to people's houses and I'm like oh you have like a whole other living room in your bedroom that's crazy that's a lot of space um and yeah I, I just like I don't know what to do with it but I should try that sometime like, like a giant giant bedroom I feel like those aren't really a thing like whenever you go over to those like I don't know what they're called like those houses where they're just like mass produced like same floor plan houses they never have big bedrooms either so I feel like it's like fitting for a more modern new build house to have small bedrooms anyways I don't know maybe that's just my excuse <laughs> But I did manage to fit like a little like Ikea closet thingy and two bedside tables and the actual bed in there. You could fit like a dresser if you squeezed the bed up against the wall, but I wanted it in the middle of the room and I really like the tile that I went with through the bathroom. I just like it's so like earthy and fits the room well. So now we're on to the toddler's room. So yeah, like I said, this fits two toddler beds the best, and then there's like a little bit of room for them to have just like a dresser and a couple toys in there. But if they age up, there is room for you to do like the kid size beds that take up three tiles. It's just gonna be a little bit of a tight fit. I kind of like figured that this is like a starter home, not a starter home in the sense that like you can buy it when you just make the family and that's how much money you get when you make the family, but more just like a starter home in the sense that like this isn't the home that they're necessarily going to stay in forever, it's just what they can afford for now while they're working towards their career. But if they need to, they can squeeze the beds or they could do like a little add-on, there's options. I wish there were bunk beds in this game. We have them in The Sims 3 and I think it's so realistic to have like a really small room for the kids and there's two bunk beds, but that's just not an option. So this is the second bathroom. It's not an ensuite because I wanted it to be like accessible from the living area. 
You could get rid of the shower and like rearrange it and put a bathtub in if you wanted to be able to do like baths with the toddlers. I just kind of wasn't thinking of that. I don't know. It's, yeah, you can't give toddlers showers, but you can change their diaper and that counts as cleaning them in the game because none of this is actually real. So I wasn't too pressed about having a bathtub. I don't like baths in the game because it takes like four hours. I'm like, who sits in the bathtub for four hours? Apparently your sims do. So just kind of ignore the bathtubs unless I use them as like an accessory for a big bathroom. And I just put down the little high chairs and let's see, what am I doing now? Oh yeah, the backyard. So I made this like more extensive seating area in the backyard because right now there's only like the three island stools in the kitchen. They don't have like a real family dining table. And since this is a California style home, I figured that it would like technically be in California even though there's no real California in the game. So they could like eat outside pretty much year round and then there's like some space for friends or family to come over and there's the grill obviously which is cute. And I was putting some lights out here. And then I did put a little monkey bar thing outside for when the girls grow up. They can play on it. I wish there were real swing sets in the game. The ones in the game are like so weird. It's like a rocket ship or whatever. Like I'm not putting that in my backyard. So for the front yard, I made one of these porches a little gardening area. I kind of figured that since the wife in this house, Haley, is a chef and she's like kind of like quirky. She wears all these cute dresses all the time and stuff. I thought it would be cute if she maybe could grow her own ingredients for some of her food that she makes. Hopefully she doesn't take after me and she can actually keep her plants alive. So some of these plants are just for decoration, but then I do put actual little gardening pots out here so she can work on the gardening skill. And then I made a little seating area on this other porch. I thought it would be a place where maybe they could sit outside and have coffee, just watch the neighbors. Just a nice relaxing little seating area. And I just love little porches. I think they're so cute. I love the flowers around them. I'm sure there'd be tons of bugs around them in the summer, but it's a game, so we don't have to deal with that. And I believe this is pretty much the final house, and we're about to go into some screenshots. Yep, this is the final house. I love it. I think it's so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this house. If you did, I'd love to have you subscribe. I do mostly post makeup videos, but I will post some of these videos from time to time, especially if you guys enjoy them. I really love how this house turned out and I'd love to live in a house like this. It's so cute and cozy and I love it. And you're about to see the twins here in a second. There they are. They're like, why are you taking my picture? They're so cute. Aww. Okay, why is that bunny floating? That's kind of creepy. I need to fix that. And yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!